Hi everyone, this is just a, a short video to um, demonstrate my extending drones for Scottish mole pipes. Extending drones or telescopic drones, whichever you prefer. Um, I actually designed these back in around about 2000, um, but for one reason or another, I didn't market them. I made one set for a friend of mine, John Daly in Seattle, and I've never made a set since. But I've had several um, orders recently for combo AD sets, sets with four drones, a chanter and D chanter. And the challenge has always been the tuning of the of the drones to, to get all the note, the notes you need for both A and D with, with the fifths and and the, the low G, the D and the E. I've always found I'll just put these together. So connect a, a sliding tube to the drone. Basically, two two tuning pins. The metal tube slides up and down the pin, and it gives you a much greater range of tuning. In fact, each drone can give you six six semitones. Normally, on for example, on on Northumbrian small pipes, you've got a, a tuning bead, which is very handy because that gives you access to notes higher up and. It, it, um, extends the range quite easily but unfortunately the problem with the tuning bead is that aesthetically it just doesn't fit with um, Scottish small pipe drones it, it doesn't look right um, so the challenge is to get all the notes you need without a tuning bead and normally you can do that for example um, with the D and D um, you would normally find the, the D at the bottom of the pin and the E somewhere at the top and likewise with the the A, A drone, you would normally find um, A at the top, and when you want G for playing on your D chanter, you, you'd be way down the bottom. So it can be done at the extremities of the range on, on the tuning pin. The problem is that um, when I, as a maker, um, tune the drones and, and set the reeds, I set them so that the D is at the bottom of the pin, the E at the top, G at the bottom, and A at the top on the other drones. Um, but when I send them away, if um, someone plays at a different pressure or if the temperature changes, the humidity changes, the, the reeds, as I'm sure you know, can go out of balance. And, and once the reed goes sharp or flat, you, you're going to lose one of the notes. So the challenge is um, getting all the notes you need with, with a good, within a good range so you're not going to lose notes. And these extending drones do that really easily and make, make life that much easier. Um, so I'll just try and demonstrate that. So we've got two chanters. This is an air chanter with a, a chanter stop key, which I fairly recently developed for Scotch small pipes and border pipes. This set's also got a, a drone switch. And it's also got piston stops. Um, Let's just take the it's the baritone drone. So I want D and E on this drone. So you've really got quite a good range here. So we'll start with D. That's actually E. 
the alto drum, so we'll set that at um, where am I? G. Um, a, D, A, D. Up to E. Very easy. Nice comfortable range. Uh, we need to find G on the air drums to play it in pitch of G on the D, on the D chanter. Um, so G. drones not me fingering. <laughs> so we'll get the bass A down to G as well.
She wants it with full range. Um, G. Let's get this one. Put the fourth drum on to D also. <laughs> Extending drones or telescopic drones. My wife's just going to come and switch me off. 